project, I want to show how you can use the room backups to create your own link to the playing cards game. So in the Wakelet, there is a, a link to the um, room backup. You want to click on this link and download it. So up in your computer, up here, you have the option to download. And I'm hoping this shows that it goes into your download uh, folder down here. So once you've downloaded it to your computer, you're gonna open up a new tab, go to PlayingCards.io, with an S, playing cards, plural, .io. And it has the option of many pre-made games, checkers, chess, cribbage, various card games. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. You can go to the other slash custom and hit start game. From there you hit enter and you're entering your game room. But this isn't the game we want to play. They go to the briefcase. The briefcase is the edit table. Edit the table or the room. So hit your briefcase. Then go to room options. And you want to import from file. Once you have that, it's asking which file. So it should be the most recent one you just downloaded in your download. A folder and hit open. That quickly it now says complete. You've done that, you're done, you go back to the briefcase, close it out, and now you have your own copy of the game. So this is the suffix game and it's a go fish game so everybody takes I play with five and everyone takes five and then you play Go Fish, who has less, as in homeless, meaning without. And someone else, will say, oh, I've got less. Or uh, as in jobless, without a job. And um, and you put it out here to show that yes, you got a match. And then you take both cards and put it into your winnings pile. Uh, and of course, if you don't have it, then you know you say Go Fish and you pick up another card. Anyway, so this is how to get your room by using the room backups. Uh, if you want to edit your room, you can edit it with the briefcase and you can come up here and edit the deck. Uh, it's very finicky. So you want to be careful about doing edits and make sure you're able to back it up again if you want to. But you can change the, the color, you can change the words, you can change whatever. So you can change the card face, the card back, change the color on it. If you don't like this color, you can change the color to a different color, whatever. And um, you can change the words. So now you'll see that the back's a different color. Okay. So you can make changes. You can add to it by editing the deck. You can add more cards or remove cards or change the spelling if you don't doing it. Or if you want to just make different cards, you can do that. Here. Anyway, so that's how you can get a room backup. So once you have your deck, all, all the cards. Once you have your deck, you want to save this link. So what I do is I take a copy of this link, copy it, and make a document that will save all of my links. So doc new, got a new doc and we'll call it
thing cards links and this one was the um suffix go finish and we'll link it so highlight Control k or right click link and then paste will be paste the that link in here so that when you want to play the game, you then just come into your document and, oops, I did the wrong thing. So, ish, and I want to link it to this game here, you'll see. Link it or control K, control V, there. And there we have it. So when you want to play the game, you just come up to your link and open up your game room. Okay. That will work for back for creating your rooms for whatever decks you want to make from my room backups or from anyone else's room backups.